On Father's Day weekend, we spent three days and nights camping and exploring in Wyoming's Bighorn Mountains. We had planned to camp at a spot I had found several years ago, but when we arrived, there was a new sign that the area had been closed to camping. In some ways, I was not surprised as the spot, which had always been lightly used, had become crowded and overused since it was posted online several years ago. Once upon a time when there were far fewer people traveling and living as nomads, it may have been a great thing to share nice campsites online. Now, however, there are so many people trying to travel and boondock that any time a new location is posted online, it is overcrowded and often trashed within a year or two. The result is often closure or restrictions of a once nice camping spot. We were able to find another spot to camp after braving a 4x4 trail in the dark. Despite the challenge of finding an alternative campsite, it still provided a peaceful and quiet camping experience for the night. The following morning, we set out for some more exploring. One of our morning adventures was driving along Crazy Woman Canyon. We drove along Crazy Woman Canyon Road, named for the creek and canyon through which it passes. The names Crazy Woman Creek and Crazy Woman Canyon have been applied to this spot for so many years that nobody is sure how the name came to be. There are several legends as to the origin of the name and variations on the legends abound. One legend is that a Native American woman was left alone in the canyon to live in a teepee. The isolation caused the woman to become insane, thus crazy woman. Another legend is that a settler family was traveling through the area in a covered wagon when they were attacked by Sioux warriors. The man and three children were killed in the raid while the woman survived. Grief stricken and in shock after having witnessed the attack on her family, she took an ax from a warrior and attacked their attackers, killing four Sioux in the process. Following the attack, a mountain man came upon the scene, buried the bodies of the deceased, and attempted to bring the woman to civilization. When she refused to leave, the mountain man instead built a small cabin for her. Sometime later, the woman was found dead of starvation. However the name originated, the canyon is incredibly scenic. The road winds through Crazy Woman Canyon, alternately following and crossing Crazy Woman Creek, passing through rock walls and stands of Aspen. So I was just pulling over in this little pull-off to let the rangers go past us. They've <laughs> been behind us. And I noticed caves over here. Look at this, huh? I don't know. Caves are always cool. So we're going to have to take a quick look here. Gander. 
That's pretty cool. So we're parked right there, and I'm just thinking, like, it's so tempting to want to just stay parked right there and camp under here or something. I mean, that just would be so cool, as long as the rock didn't fall on our head while we were sleeping or something. We're going in. This may be worth noting that it's like the weather's and the temperatures are in the 90s today and tomorrow, which is one of the reasons we're up in the mountains this week. But we're in a canyon alongside a creek and now in a cave. You can see, here we go, I'll show you. You can see the bat droppings there where the bats are hanging out. But it's remarkably cool in here between being in a canyon and woods and high elevation in the creek and now in a cave. This cave to me looks like it goes back quite a ways and appears to be used by uh, some kind of critters or other. But the ground looks well used in front of it, I'm thinking. All right, so really cool spot here. This is a fun stop. The can scenery in this canyon anyways has been amazing, but this was fun. I'm glad we picked this spot to pull over to let the rangers go around. Okay, I just stumbled across another interesting spot here, aside from all the unfortunate graffiti. Let's go take a look and see what this looks like. Ooh, pretty damp in here. Wow. This is a neat little cave. It's really unfortunate. It's just been so graffitied and abused. This is exactly the kind of stuff that leads to the Forest Service closing down areas. Although it does sort of appear they've maybe given up on this one. And this would be one of the advantages to traveling and camping in a van is, you know, you find a cool spot like the one I was just showing you with this cave here. And, you know, you can stop and make breakfast right on the side of the road, wherever you happen to be. Now that's what we're doing right now. We're having breakfast, working on breakfast, and we'll be continuing on for some more sport. Too, but we don't have anything for you. That's what he thinks of us. Turn off the main drag to find the old town. <laughs> 